to Kapow Toys Presents. I'm your host, King Grunrock, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dark of the Moon Sideswipe. Mr. I've lost my roof and don't I look sexy with it. Now, Sideswipe got a couple of moulds in the last film, both Deluxe Class ones. Obviously, we had the original one, and then we had the sidearm one and the various repaints thereof. He has a new car in the film. He has a new car. He has a, a variant of his car mode in the new film, meaning we get a new toy. And you know what? This toy is probably going to get slated and overlooked by a lot of the fans, but I really, really like it. The detailing is... I mean, okay, let's get this out of the way straight off. He, his mech tech weapon. These are kind of hindering rather than enjoyable, um, especially with the reviewing for me, because um, they're kind of just obscure parts. Anyway, he, he, mech tech weapon, nice, tidy, big, pump action shotgun. And... Oh, slightly limp sword. Necessary? Mm, no. I would have it just because of the shotgun. Maybe you press that a couple more bits of shotgun pop out. I uh, just had the sword. It's just, oh, it's just a bit. Mm. Yeah, um, uh, looks great. Looks rubbish. Looks great. Looks rubbish. Looks great. You know. Uh, let's put it to one side. Sideswipe himself then. I've been talking about Shockwave a lot, so I'm feeling I'm going to actually talk, I'm going to call him Sideswipe. Shock, shock, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, actually, we'll bring that back for a second while I'm thinking about it. Mectech ports in the roof, nice and tidy, and in both sides as well. Tidy, same job as on the uh, on Roadbuster, which I pointed out that they just, you know, those bits pop back out, filling quite nicely, um, it works really nice. and overall, this is a beautiful looking car, it's really hard to pick up there, but it's not just a flat grey, this has actually got a pearlescent sheen to it, the entire car's got it as well, and under the lights, it just glimmers beautifully, um, it's just very plain, it looks very, very dull, I mean, paint apps are used, I think the polite phrase is sparingly, as is coloured plastic. Um, we, you know, we effectively have paint apps on the wheels, which look lovely, and you can you can make out brake discs on the inside as well. Great! And you know, painted in, yay, thank you. Um, and there's a bit of paint around the front, picking out the Corvette sign and the grill. Um, the actual lights are in clear plastic. And it, these are actually different coloured plastic as well. And then around the back we have clear plastic, red, but no more paint apps. Where have they all gone? Well, you do have to wonder sometimes. Money is spent sparingly when it comes to paint apps of the Dark of the Moon toys. On the underside we obviously have legs, but the rest of it is really nicely covered up, really, really tidily done. Um, and the only uh, downside is, of course, you can actually see straight through him. Could you have done anything with it? Not without hindering what is a very, very sleek robot mode, and actually, in my eyes, a really sleek and really nice car mode. This kind of looks fantastic. The detailing on it's lovely. He seems to be a very faithful representation of the um, the car used in the movie. The, I mean, it looks stunning. Admittedly, if you were driving it, you're just going to catch bugs in the face. And it does look like a speedboat rather than a car, but you know what? I really like the aesthetic of this. The overall look around looks fantastic. Things that are picked out are lovely. And this pearlescent shot, I mean, can you, I hope you can pick that up. He's actually got a steering wheel. He's got a like, full central console. Admittedly, you look where that steering wheel is in comparison to the actual seats. You're going to be driving with your feet. It's, you know, it's not brilliantly worked out, but there's just something about it. There's something about this, this mode and this actual toy that I really really like it. Maybe I've just got a soft spot for the, the side swipe aesthetic, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's have a look at his uber sleek robot mode. And 
the run with Moki was instantly a big hit of Hello Gorgeous. It just looked beautiful, massively poseable, wonderfully detailed, and it incorporates both things which I really liked about the last two versions. Version 1 had the blades, version 2 Sidearm had the gun. We have both, and both are implementable within this thing as well. You can rotate those down so he has his blades. Yes, he's still an absolute nightmare to stand up, um, but he looks great. He ah, oh, just there is something about this guy I really, really do like. The head mold isn't superb actually. The head mold isn't massively, uh, massively detailed. Again, paint apps used exceptionally sparingly across the toy, and he does and essentially break down into grey, light grey, dark grey, and black. Mm, could have done maybe with a little more colour, but you know, maybe that's what his representation is going to be. And again, all these grey hairs are picked out in that almost pearlescent grey rather than just a bog standard, up there's a bit of grey. You know, not that Games Workshop grey as we often use, you know, that grey. Um, and, ooh, nasty little catch there. Mechtech weapon is holdable in his hand. little silly. Kind of breaks up that lovely sleek aesthetic having a massive pump action shotgun, but it works really well. As I say, the overall thing is actually very tidy. Even though, I mean, we'll go through this, we'll have a look around. Even though around the back he does have this large mess of car going on. Um, you know, you do have both of the door areas, the entire top section basically, there's the the rear and then the front there. It all snaps together very tidily, it's implemented so it all comes together, sits in as snugly as possible to his back, and just adds bulk more to the torso than to actually adding, I don't know, sort of a backpack or a cape. It's still a backpack, it's still undeniably a backpack, but it just, it looks good. And almost, you know, it offset, offsetting the size of the, oh, is he going to stand up so I can turn my hands away and gesticulate? And it almost offsets the size of the legs, you know, they're these thin bird-like legs. And I think that's what this, uh, you know, Sideswipe very much comes across as very bird-like in his, uh, his appearance with his large chest, sort of, you know, feathered-esque head disguise, and then a very agile, very nimble legs. It just works for me. I can't, it, it, putting it into words is very difficult. It's one of those toys, I think, until people get in their hands, they're not going to really go. You know, it's just another sideswipe, and it is very grey. But the design work, the engineering involved with it, and just the aesthetic, the sleek aesthetic is very nice. Especially within a line where we seem to have gone away from the intricate details to more chunky action figure robots, rather than the Revenge of the Fallen with the, all its inner workings and intricacies. He does have mech tech points, um, he does have a couple on the shoulder there, pick out, which is being very odd because you can't really get anything to it. And he also doesn't appear, you know, first look, to have many 3mm clip points. He has a couple there on the shoulders, but that's about it. So again, it's there was this, this mishmash of ideas, things being bought in, it's really nice to have them, maybe highlighting them a little bit better, picking out the details with a few more paint apps. As ever, I imagine the Takara version of this, in the same way that Sidearm was glorious in Takara, but not so much in the Hasbro, still wasn't bad. Um, I imagine the, the Takara version of this will look amazing if they pick out all this detail in chrome rather than rather than this, this pearlescent grey, which, as I say, probably isn't coming across on the camera as well as it does in person. Is this the best side swipe yet? No. No, Sidearm is probably the better toy overall. Um, aesthetically, he is probably better. Um, but this guy feels tidier. This guy brings both guns and knives to the uh, to the party. And he looks great in both modes. So, realistically, if you don't have a Sideswipe, you could go a lot further wrong. And if you're looking for a new one, and a representation of his Darker Than Moon self, missing that roof, this guy is glorious. I really, really do like him, if you couldn't tell. Anyway, I've been your host, King Grimlock. This has been Darker Than Inside Swipe, and we will see. Yeah, we'll see.